Hi, I'm Henry Gilliland, the Mechatronics Specialist with Electric Supply and Equipment. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a virtual PLC using Rockwell Automation's Factory Talk Logics Echo. Then we'll download a PLC program to that virtual PLC and put it in run mode for use as a virtual commissioning tool. But before we get going, be sure to subscribe to the ESNE TV YouTube channel for your automation and support needs. FactoryTalk Logics Echo is a software that can be used to create an emulation of a virtual PLC. This virtual PLC can be used for things like virtual commissioning and testing PLC code without actually having physical hardware. First, let's open up the FactoryTalk Logics Echo dashboard. You will see on the left-hand side of the dashboard window a devices panel. This devices panel is where you will add chassis and PLCs. Let's start by adding a new chassis. We're just going to call it chassis. Then into the chassis we're going to add a controller. Click on add controller from ACD. Then we're going to navigate to an existing program that we're going to use to create a processor from. You will see a pop-up window that shows the name of the processor that you're creating, and it'll also show the loopback address for your personal computer. You can leave everything as is and say add. Let's go over to our Factory Talk Links network browser and watch as our virtual PC begins to communicate with the network browser. Once the virtual PLC starts communicating with Factory Talk Links network browser, you can target it using Studio 5000 Logics Designer and download a program to it. Back in Factory Talk Logics Echo dashboard, you can open up the device status panel and see what state the virtual PLC is in. Our PLC is currently in remote program. We can tell because the run light is off. You can change this state to run, remote, or program. We're going to leave it in remote mode so that we can download our program to the processor and then place it in run mode remotely. You can now minimize the Factory Talk Logics Echo dashboard and let it keep running in the background. Now we're going to open up that same PLC program that we use to create the virtual PLC. Once the program is open in Studio 5000 Logics Designer, we can browse for our virtual PLC using WhoActive. Once you find the virtual PLC, you can just hit the download button like normal. Download the program to the virtual PLC. And you can see now that the virtual PLC is in remote program. We can then place our virtual PLC in run mode and then test our code in this new virtual environment. That's it. You're now ready to use this virtual PLC with a program running in it for virtual commissioning using a tool like Emulate 3D. Thanks for watching.